Are you getting lost in all the AI image generators flying onto the market? I know I am. If you're watching this channel a lot, you know that I'm a big Midjourney fan. But AI image generation tools are exploding all over the market. Let's see what else is out there. I tested over 30 Stable Diffusion and DAL-E based AI image generators. To make my list, they had to have an easy to understand browser based user interface and a free trial program. I'll put a list of the tested AI in the description below. Let's start with looking at some images. Image quality has improved so much in the last few months that you don't have to waste your time on AI that doesn't create stunning images, even if it's free. In each AI image generator, I prompted for a fantasy scene, a character, and some photo realism. I use the same prompt and seed when possible. The different prompts highlighted strengths and weaknesses in the different AI image generators. A handful of AI tools stood out. The images had clarity, detail, and limited AI artifacts, and they created a unique and imaginative image. I also asked the AI to give me a breathtaking image, just to see what the AI would produce. The images ranged everywhere from a completely black square to nature and fantasy scenes. I narrowed down the field to 10 AI image generators. Let's dig in to see how they work. First, I tested not safe for work filters. Some creators want highly sexualized or gory images. Others want a family friendly environment. All of these AI either flag banned words or ignored any double meanings. My prompt produced cute farmyard animals, and that's more than I can say for when I search this prompt on Google. The AI may have blocked you from prompting certain words, but that doesn't mean the content isn't sexualized, even without asking for it. Quasi, Night Cafe, and Dream Up created the most risque images. These AI image generators made the best images, and I'll wait for a good image. But do I have to? Let's talk about image generation speed. I generated one image using the same prompt on the free tier, and the results varied widely. Lexica, Night Cafe, and Pixels rendered in less than 10 seconds. Quasi was not far behind. Dreamlike and Pollinations were the slowest, taking minutes, not seconds, to generate an image. Dreamlike may have been slow, but it has a full complement of advanced settings, including seed, quality, steps, choice of sampling, that sort of thing. Pixels AI also gives you a lot of control. The other AI image generators have more limited controls, sometimes letting you change quality or number of images, or maybe even only aspect ratio. Gone are the days when you had to be satisfied with a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Nearly all the AIs have at least a portrait and a landscape option as well. Deep Dream, Dream Up, and Lexica give you the most variety and the largest files. Others like Starry AI give you more aspect ratios with a subscription. Some of the AIs also have upscalers to make your image sizes even larger. Deep Dream doubles the size of your image. Dreamlike in pixels will upscale four times the size to 2048 pixels square. But Night Cafe has everyone beat, upscaling to a whopping 8,000 pixels or 12 times the size of your original image. Of course, you're going to want to try these image generators for yourself. Who has the best free trial? It's hard not to beat free overall. Pollinations and Simuli have free tiers. Quasi gives you one month of unlimited generation, and Lexica's 100 free image generations per day is hard to beat. Most of the tools like Lexica started out as free and then added a paywall later, so there's no guarantee that the tools will be free forever. So what do you get for your money? For a start, you get more images, and there's no need to pay more than one cent per credit. Some AIs also add additional features with a subscription, like more storage, larger files, and private generations. For $5 a month with Quasi, you can make models and unlimited image generations. And Lexica comes with a commercial license. To get these upgrades, you have to register. But do you have to register for these AI image generators to use the free trial? The answer is pretty much yes. Only Pollinations lets you play without registering. But having your own account means that you can save your images in a gallery and sometimes sort and organize your images too. Of these AI, Night Cafe has the most advanced gallery. You can rate images, edit metadata, and sort into collections. You can also add an NFT link, buy a print, and share to your socials. Dreamlike also lets you rate images and saves your favorites into collections. And you can do a basic sort. 
but Lexica has an extensive community to learn from. What sets some of these AI image generators apart are the extra features, like image-to-image -image prompting. Adding an image to a text prompt used to be a luxury, but it's becoming a standard feature in AI image generators. Of these 10, only DreamUp and Quasi lack this feature. And Lexica makes it easy to use images from other creators as inspiration for your own prompts. If you want to map a style onto your image, Deep Dream and Night Cafe both have style transfer tools and some of the AI will guide your prompting with filters, presets, and styles. All of these AI image generators are Stable Diffusion based, but some have their own models and frequently more than one. With Deep Dream, you have a choice between Fusion, Artistic, Fantasy, Photoreal, Cyberspace, Quantum, and both new and old Stable Diffusion. Lexica uses its own Aperture model and is one of the best I've ever seen. Both Madge and Instant Art are sites that collect Stable Diffusion models, and I'll review these in a separate video. Often the AI lets you make variations or in some way evolve your images. With one click of a button, Dreamlike lets you make variations or clones of your favorite images, but so does Deep Dream, DreamUp, Lexica, Night Cafe, Simuli, and Starry AI. And Dreamlike, Pixels, and Deep Dream have a face enhancement tool. This tool removes AI imperfections and makes the face look a little more real. Lexica has an automatic outpainting tool that adds a little more background to your image. Pollinations may be a bit slow, but it's free and has a few other tools that makes it stand apart, including text to video and the photo 3D tool. Always check to see what else the tool does besides text to image AI generation. We've gone through a lot of the features, but which AI image generators have the best features and quality? My favorites are Lexica, Night Cafe, Google's Deep Dream Generator, and despite the slow speed, Dreamlike Art. You can make lots of free high quality images and each has a handful of features that sets it apart from the pack. Try these AI image generators for yourself and let us know what you think. If this video is helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.